What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Young Dub man coming at y'all with another video. Uh, y'all know me. I always tell the good lie about uh, no longer buying car audio man, and I'm always um, getting something else. I know. I want to say I believe it was last night. I went ahead and did the unboxing video on these here. Uh, the DS18, I believe, I said X68M, I think it's actually a B, so X6BM, mid-range, so whatever, y'all know what it is, man, like I said, DS18, highly impressed with this brand, highly impressed with the speakers, um, but long story short, <clears throat> I went ahead and bought these speakers, um, y'all know I got, well, most of y'all know I got DS18 all across the rear deck. You can see those pictures on the Instagram if you're following that. Um, bought these to go on my front doors. Currently running Rockville, uh, pro speakers in the front door. Nothing against the Rockville pro speakers. Let me clarify that. A lot of people ask me like, oh man, Rockville took another L. Rockville been taking L's left and right. But... When it comes to their pro speakers, man, I will stand by them on that. The pro speakers are amazing. I think 45 bucks for a pair of two, man, You for a 100 watts RMS, and they do it all day long, scream all day long, loud and clear, man. They, they get down. That's one one thing I will say. They speakers, golden. Anything else from them, I ain't touching it. I'm sorry. That's just me. But with the current setup being D, all DS18, basically, on the, well, all DS18 in the rear deck is what it is. Uh, I want the entire setup to be all DS18, which is why I bought these. And uh, with the rear deck being so loud, the Rockville's only being 100 watts RMS, they're not able to keep up with the rear deck. So with that being said, I'm taking the Rockford Fosgate amp out because it's not going to be enough to power these. These things are 250 watts RMS a piece, so I need a 500 watt amp. Shout out to the guy I bought this amp from. I was on eBay since... Roughly 5 a.m. this morning, uh, looking for a Serwin Vega B52. I needed something that was small and compact. That was my whole deal. I'm like, okay, I got the little crescendo amps. I need something else that's compact. I, there was this uh, seller on there, had one for 121 bucks or best offer. So I sent him a best offer of 106 bucks. He came back. Now, mind you, he sold the amp for 121 dollars and five cents. The man's gonna hit me back with a counter offer of 120. Why? Why? I, I I don't understand that. To all the sellers out there on eBay, why do y'all put that best offer stuff on there? If you know damn well you're not trying to work on the price at all. So I'm, you know, I sent them a counter offer like, man, would you take 115? It's um pretty much 11 o'clock at night on a Friday, and I have yet to hear back from that seller. So yeah, I said screw it, man. I went to Facebook. I did something today that I haven't done in a while. I bought some off the streets, which is the reason for this video here. To know me, I always say to know me is to know GP Car Audio. To know me is to also know uh, Pioneer. I'll run Pioneer Head. It was, I think last year I really considered getting a Kenwood. Maybe this year too. I want to say possibly I thought about getting a Kenwood. That's, that's probably just not going to happen. Uh, this is a Pioneer Premier. Um, I stand 1,000, and I do mean 1,000% by the Pioneer Championship Series. The... In my case, personally, the 8601, the 8604, and the 9601. I know they got the 87s out now, and I haven't heard anything bad about them, man. But um, there was this guy on Facebook selling this. There's the box to the amp here. You can, if you know anything about Pioneer, the Premier, just like the, well, here you go. I don't know if y'all can see that because the box is so worn out, but this is a PRS um, amp from Pioneer. Maybe you can see it on that one. But yeah, this is a PRS. Everybody knows about the 80 PRS, and that's the amp that, um, well, not the amp, but the deck that everybody loves to run from Pioneer. So they made a PRS um, amp, and this one is just like my Rockville, uh, not Rockville, my Rocker Falsegate, because the Rocker Falsegate has this top plate on here. Well, it has a top plate on that amp um, where you have to take the plate off in order to see the controls. And all of the... Um, Power connections, RCAs, all that type of stuff is on the front of the amp. Uh, so this is essentially the same as the Rockford False Gate. It's just a little bit more power. Uh, bridge that Rockford False Gate puts out 300 watts. This one bridge puts out 600. So um, it's 100 watts over what I need as far as RMS power uh, for these speakers. But obviously, you know, I'll tune it correctly and set the gains correctly to where uh, they won't have to worry about seeing that type of power to go through the coils and burn them up. But let me get the top off of this so we can get a better look at this amp. 
But y'all know my deal, man. I've been saying it for a long time. Let me get my highs right. <clears throat> Once I get the highs out the way, man, that'll that'll get me moving forward to get the base going. So the only thing that sucks about like I don't get me wrong, I'm I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy this amp. Uh, the guy was legit that I bought it from. He bought it from a legit company here in Omaha, man. And uh, when he pulled, man, got Usher screaming over there like like it's on the DS 18s. But uh, the the guy when he pulled up, he had the amp plan. Uh, he had it. He actually was using it for a bass. He had it uh, hooked up to a kicker sub, man, and it was thumping. So the fact that he did that lets me know, you know, it's legit. Um, this was, I think, this amp was made in 2008, man. But it's legit. It's like I said. Only thing, only downside to it is it's a little bit bigger than my Rockford Foss Gate. So I'll have to go back and modify the amp rack, which of course will happen tomorrow. So tomorrow might be my birthday, but I can promise you, I'm spending Saturday in the lab, man. Like. I told somebody, I think it was Greg Jackson, I was telling him, uh, him, me and my brother are going to be in the lab all day uh, Saturday, getting his truck right, my car right, so uh, we'll go from there, I'll get this amp hooked up, man, and you know, I'm pretty sure Real Car Audio Fanatics probably know about this amp, some of y'all probably don't, man, so uh, stay tuned, what I am going to do before I take the Rockville's out, and before I take the Rockford Falsegate amp out, I'm going to do a demo, which that what the demo that I did um I don't know two three weeks ago now in the Malibu I was at uh Gorman's parking lot it was abandoned but that was the two Rockville speakers in the Rockford Falls Gate amp I'll probably do another one of that I got Usher playing in the background with that instrumental because right now everybody's doing the climax challenge man I don't have the doors for it but I definitely have the setup for it uh so I want to do that demo and um I probably want to swap everything out and do it with the DS-18s, even though, like I said, right now it sounds amazing by itself. So we'll see where it goes, man. But y'all know me, man. I, I like to say, hey, man, I'm done. I'm not buying anything else. And then I go buy something else. So <clears throat> I got some work to do, man. Stay tuned. We'll get these DS-18 speakers here. We'll get these grids on this nice Pioneer amp. We'll get the correct power for them just to make sure that they can keep up a little bit. Uh, with the rear deck, so I, I mean, I, I do have the front end fill. You can fill it in the doors. You can fill it in your leg, but you just can't necessarily hear it. So, hopefully, these will keep up to the point to where you can hear a little bit of uh, the vocals coming out of the front. So, we'll go from there, man. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. That's all I can say, man. Y'all know me, but I'm trying to stop. That's my main thing. If, if I can stop buying this stuff, then I can. I already installed most of it, but I just, you know, I got to get the highs right so I can install that back there and when like i said once the subs go in the trunk that's it man I'm, I'm not i'm really not trying to be doing the whole in and out in and out nah man that's them, once i put them in there they done dealing man so y'all know the deal man it's your boy young dub any questions comments concerns i'll try to get back to everybody it's the weekend uh enjoy your weekend man if you're gonna do anything do it the right way man make sure you get home to your family get home to whoever it is it could be your, your puppies i don't know man make it to monday man it's your boy young dub you have a good weekend i'm out